pause or turn down the playback speed to check the settings. Use 0.4 millimeter nozzle on both the black PLA plus and white PETG. Here are some of the parts I filmed during printing. Paddings on the cheek area, parts of the crescent printed in PETG. Its clippings and the diamond in the forehead. Now testing out the fit before gluing. Skipped filming most of the sanding and assembly here. These will be used for the placement of the 3-volt LED for the forehead and other electronic parts. It will look somewhat like this. The next step is the filling and more sanding. Started with 150 grit up to 250 grit sandpaper and cleaning out the creases. Adding shadows, finishing details, and finally the coating. Don't forget to protect your lungs. Here comes the lighting system. My solder got busted during this project because I'm a noob, so I paid a pro to work on the wiring instead. We set the five volt LED to stick on its back, making a loop to light the top and bottom of the mask. And we will drill a hole in the left ear of the mask for the wire to pass through. I wasn't able to film it, but I added foam padding for the lead to diffuse better on the lower part of the moon. Brilliant. The T-shape holds the small LED on the forehead. Finally, installing the battery, that is in case there are no portable power banks available. Finally, testing out the mask before packing and random poses for the thumbnail. Enjoy. I'm hungry and my neck hurts, so I like and subscribe or something. Thanks.